<laughs> what well, damn what what up news welcome back it's your boy Nutsonic. i'm back again with my upcoming 2016 games each month i do a review of each game's coming out now we're focusing on june 2016 i've been pretty busy with uncharted for as you can see uh 20 downs 18 kills zero revive because you know why should i revive you <laughs> psych number team player let's roll the intro <laughs> Alright, let's get this started. Uh, the game you saw at the beginning is called Hard Reset Redos, coming out for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One on June 3rd. This game looked like a first person chaotic shooting. I don't even know what I call it. It's like freaking, uh, it's like the Call of Duty zombie parts on crack with all type of weapons and all type of upgrades. It looked hella fun. If you love first person shooter, make sure you grab yourself a copy right away. Next on the list, we have Mirror Edge Catalyst coming out for PC, uh, PS4, and Xbox One. This is coming out on June 7th. This is obviously, with Uncharted and all these other games coming out, people, the hype have kind of gone down for new games, but Mirror Edge is one of the games that have been hyped up for a while on E3. So, uh, it's, everybody, if you, everybody knows what Mirror Edge is. I don't need to explain what it is. If for people that doesn't know what Mirror Edge is, it's a first-person parkour adventure game where you're jumping through rooftops, kicking noobs, doing all kind of crazy tricks off buildings. Uh, it's impossible, but hey, if you're into that kind of stuff, man, this is the game for you. Comes out on June second. I'm taking her out. <laughs> And next to the list, we have Kirby Planet Robobot for 3DS come out on June 10. Yeah, you heard me right. Kirby is now a robot. Uh, I don't know why he's a robot. I really don't know the story rhyme. <laughs> I don't know the story, the story rhyme behind this. I have no idea what's happening here. All I know is Kirby is a robot now. He has robot powers. And you could pretty much destroy anything you want with Kirby. If you're into that, it's coming out for... Nintendo DS on June 10. Now this next game actually caught me for surprise. I had no idea that was coming out. It's called Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter. Also coming out on June 10th. Um, obviously everybody loves Sherlock Holmes. He's one of the most famous investigator next to Batman. <laughs> uh, this one focuses on pretty much investigation, asking the right questions, uh, exploring your environment to find clues. I, I think they really heavily focus on uh, interacting with the uh, guests, your clients, asking the right questions and stuff like that. So if you're into investigation of Sherlock's home, this the game. This game might be for you. Grab a copy right away. The area around Baker Street lets you appreciate the power of our technology. In particular, the use of physically based rendering, which makes lights and textures seem more real than ever. You can switch the game to a first person perspective at any time, which may help you to find clues. Now this next game is actually very interesting. It's called Mighty Number no. Nine, coming out for PC, PlayStation 3, PS4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and Nintendo Wii U. The the things that make this game interesting is because this is the guy that created Mega Man. Now he left Camcon, 
Now he couldn't take <laughs> he couldn't take Mega Man with him, so he decided to create his own version of Mega Man. But he couldn't really call it Mega Man, so he decided to call it Mighty Number no. Nine. So if you like Mega Man, then you're gonna like this game. This is pretty much Mega Man without the Mega Man look. <laughs> so. It definitely plays like Mega Man, but anyways, it was supposed to come out in February, it got delayed. Now it's coming out on June 21st. Or face off against your friends, or strangers, or even that weird dude who lives down the street whose name is probably Vernon, or some other creepy thing. What just happened? Uh, sorry, got lost there. Check out this montage. And this is all just the beginning. So what are you waiting for? Mighty number nine. Now talking about Capcom, <laughs> on the next on our list we have Resident Evil Umbrella Corps for PC and PlayStation 4 coming out on June 21st as well. Um, this is pretty much, how do I explain this? This is like zombie mode on Call of Duty, but better. So you do I, you get to switch between first person and third person i think not necessarily third person over the shoulder resident evil style shooting type kind of game uh where you are pretty much i guess the multiplayer co-op fighting against zombies in different maps in different locations and i'm sure there's a multiplayer element somewhere in there but I, i'm not sure about it but i know from what i could see it looked like it looked a hell of fun all you have all you're doing is killing zombies a lot of zombies just killing zombies. Okay, next on our list we have the Technomancer coming out for PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One. Uh, this is coming out on June 28th. Close to the end of the month um i don't know much about this game from what i did see from the gameplay footage that i saw uh, it remind me of uh futuristic skyrim uh it look it has some rpg element to it as well it look like you collect do a lot of collecting a lot of upgrading your characters and a lot of just roaming it's you know going through adventures going through quests it's it's a sci-fi game let's just put it that way it's a sci-fi Skyrim game. So if you're into large world of exploration, then you'll be into this game. And finally, we're gonna end the video with the Division DLC expansion, uh, expansion one, Underground. This is actually gonna be a 30 days early release for Xbox One owners. Then after 30 days, it's trickled down to PC and PS4 as well. Um, so obviously, the Division is being very ambitious, just like Destiny is. They're doing this. You know, gradual release of package of DLCs with upgrades to the games. So if you didn't buy the expansion pack, you're not gonna get it unless you go back and try to pay for it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I don't plan on paying for shit. Because <laughs> games like uh, Uncharted are doing DLC release for multiplayer as well, but they're doing it giving away for free. Uh, so why would I go back and pay for stuff when I already bought the game already? You know, so if games like Naughty Dog are doing giving away free DLC, multiplayer DLC, and also uh, games like Hitman are doing it, why should I go back and play these games that make you pay extra for exclusive content 
when you already bought the game already. So I'm gonna stick with the, I'm gonna stick more on charter multiplayer, which is hella fun anyway. But if you're into it, go ahead and go play. If you already paid for it already, so go ahead and go, you know, play it. Cause it's actually, I'm not sure when it's coming out. It just says in June, so we should find out pretty soon. Obviously, you see the little update on your thing uh, when it really So let me know what you think. If I missed any videos, let me know. If I missed any game, let me know in the comment section. And I'll talk to you noobs later. Bye. Oh, come on, Nadine. Really? We know you're a badass and all, but there's two of us. I don't think my men are on their way here right now. All I have to do is buy some time. That's if I don't finish it myself. Is she serious? Is she serious?